A very very easy question. However, many people get it wrong. Let's have a look at it. So this equation, x to the power 6 minus 64 equals 0. Oh my god, the 6th power. We hate it. Very large. However, there is a secret in this number. 64 it is 4 times 4 times 4. It is 4 cubed. So it is 2 to the power of 6. That means 64 can be written as 2 to the power of 6. So our original equation becomes x to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 6 equals 0. So now, maybe I'm going to say, because x to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 6 equals 0, so x equals 2. If you say this, you will be wrong. Because this equation has 6 roots. You've only got 1. So now, let's find all the solutions. x to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 6. 6 is 2 times 3. So x to the power of 6 can be written as x cubed, then all to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 6 is 2 cubed, then 2 to the power of 2. Hmm. That's very good. Then we can use the formula a squared minus b squared equals a plus b, then times a minus b. Very, very good. a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. Our left-hand side can be turned into a multiplication. So it is x cubed plus 2 cubed, then times x cubed minus 2 cubed equals 0. Then we can use another formula a cubed plus or minus b cubed. It is a plus or minus b then times a squared minus or plus a b then plus b squared. Here, pay attention. So now it's going to be x cubed plus 2 cubed. Here, x is a, 2 is b. So it is x plus 2 times x squared then minus 2x plus 4 and then times x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 is 0. So the left hand side is a product of 4 terms and the right hand side 0. So very good. Then what shall we do? We have many cases. First one second one, and third one, and fourth one, of course. For our first case, we have x plus 2 is 0. Here we get x is equal to negative 2. So x1 is negative 2. In our second case, x squared minus 2x plus 4 is 0. Of course, we know here we get delta is b squared minus 4ac. It is 4 minus 16. It is negative 8. So the delta is more than 0. Still, we can solve for its imaginary root. And we can get x2 and 3 are negative 1 plus or minus square root of 3 times i. In our third case, x minus 2 is 0. Here we get x4 is 2. And then in our fourth case, x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0, we get x5 and 6. There, 1 plus or minus square root of 3 times i. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Check out these two videos. There are tricks that you should know. Subscribe to me for more interesting questions. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.